A question went out. Does anybody want to take this slot? And a bunch of people stepped up because performing on the open stage is just a lot of fun. And I've actually been talking to our next performer for a couple of weeks over the internet. And she finally turned up and I walked over and said, hi, you want your five minutes? She said, uh, yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, first timer at the open stage, first time performer at the open stage and no preparation for the open stage, Deanna Tipton. First timer! Hello! Everybody, I can use these too, but it's usually like if I don't have a bra on or something, you know. <laughs> Hello, everybody. 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 But all of a sudden, he got really busy. I don't know how you can be sitting down watching TV and eating chips and all of a sudden get real busy. So I thought, you know, since he can't come tonight, I'm just going to take a little memento so I, that reminds me of him while I'm away from him. So I took the TV remote. <laughs> My husband said that I am obsessed with shopping. And I say, hey, ever since my mother said, Gucci, Gucci, goo, <laughs> I knew I was born to shop. Now, I don't get into politics, and I don't want anything to do with it. But here's my stimulus package <laughs> right here. <laughs> if one works, you just go the next one. You know what I mean? So, um, but my husband, just out of the blue one day, he bought me an ankle bracelet. And I was like, hey, that's pretty neat, because he never usually buys me anything. He forgets birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, you know. And um, so I was wearing it all over the place until I realized that the ankle bracelet alerted his iPhone every time I went into a store. So, <laughs> yeah, got rid of that. Yes, my husband believes that every man should have a woman that stands by him, that knows he can do anything. So that's why we had to move his mom down here from Washington State, because, uh, yeah. So now that his mother's here, he has to prove what a loving husband he is. So my birthday was in April, so he said, oh, he said, just take me shopping with you and show me what you want for your birthday. And I said, hey, that's great. So I took him to the fragrance counter and I showed him all these different fragrances and I took him to the jewelry counter, showed him all these great pieces of jewelry and he turned to me and he said, oh, can you show me something cheaper? So I took him over to a mirror. <laughs> yeah. So uh, after that, I thought, I need <laughs> some therapeutic shopping. So I uh, called one of my friends. And we went to the mall. And we walked into a store. And I saw this fur coat that I said, oh. And I tried it on. And we were one. And my friend said, Deanna, do you realize that some poor creature had to suffer so that you could have that fur coat? And I said, oh, please. My husband won't get the bill for another two weeks. <laughs> so then I got the coat. And we went outside to the parking lot to leave. And a, a homeless woman approached us asking for money. And I said, well, you know, if I give you money, I'll give you some. But um, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to buy some designer shoes? And she said, no. And I said, well, are you going to go and get a facial? She said, absolutely not. And I said, well, um, I'll give you the money. But first, can you come home with me so I can show my husband what a woman looks like that doesn't shop or go to the spa? <laughs> so anyway, that's it for me. And remember, ladies, she who buys the most shoes, she who dies with the most shoes, wins. Love ya. Yeah.